Good evening. Guy Ritch Toy has made some of the most brilliant films of the last hundred years. Lock, Stock and Two Barrels of Smoking Monkeys was wicked, and my mate Dave knows every line off by heart. Following the success of that film, he met and married the international singing star Madoga, but rather than settling into a domestic routine, he returned to his roots as a cockney villain for his second film, Twat, which he has joined me to discuss in ludicrous depth today. Guy Twat was a tremendously complex film that perfectly captured the world of boxing and crime as I imagine it to be. What's Madoga like in bed? Yeah, well, there's a lot of what we call characters in the film. So I used a technique known as montage of characters, where they're all introduced one by one with their names on, all quick like Bish Bash Jack the fucking Nori with music on top. But not like the wife does, you know what I mean? Good music with guitars and that. Bash, wallop, calendula. There are, as you say, literally dozens of characters, all with these amazingly colourful names, evoking a very real kind of street poetry. I'm right, aren't I? Uh, yeah, yeah, what you said. Bosh, Barnet, Wonky Donkey. Mm, absolutely. Casting the East End Toys actor Muck Reed alongside Hollywood star Brad Pish was a marvellously postmodern masterstroke, as we'll see in this next scene. Cousin Levy! You're looking a little flush. Shut up and sit down, you old lady screwing run around fuck. Sorry, Levy. I don't like leaving my country, Frank, and I especially don't like leaving to come and work with a bunch of fucking English pretending to be gangsters, Ainsley Harriet, Dale Winton, dicks. All right, then. What if I get you a part in a West End play? Hmm. Could I go on Richard and Judy? Of course! But not the fucking Friday stand ins. Got me? I see that Wheel of Fortune fucking your dad. Marvellous. Another very clever piece of casting was the football hooligan Vinny Football as bully dog Tony. Well, I like having Vinny around because he looks hard and that impresses the birds, but don't tell the missus, obviously. But what about his unique acting style? Well, it's like Jimmy Donuts used to say when we was holding up banks. You don't mish with another man's mosh. Wallop. I see. Let's take a look at him in action. <coughs> 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 Hello. Now then, now then, Vinny. Very exciting news. I fixed it for you to be in another crap film. Nice one, Jimmo. I won't just be playing another hard man now, will I? No then, Vinny. It's the part of a complex villain who kicks people's heads in, but sometimes worries about it a little. It sounds shit. Don't take it. Shut up, you muppet. My career's going places. Gone in 60 seconds, more like. <laughs> Probably my favourite scene in the film is this beautifully crafted exchange between the main villain Pig Top and some bumbling crook. Well, yeah, that, that scene's about talking and people and that. Mm. Do you know what nemesis means? Yeah, it's the righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, more or less. All right then, Ezekiel 25:17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities... By the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Yes, 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 we have seen Pulp Fiction, mate. Mm. Well, you'll know what's coming next then, won't you, clever tits? <gasps> well, that scene there, I actually used a technique I got off Tarantino, known as copying. Now we come to the climactic fight scene featuring Brad Pish. This is a stylistic tour de force. Well, there's no fucking bikes in it, is there? Hmm? Come on, let's have this. You like me for canary sacks in your balance? Go on, get us there for him, Bazia. Come on! Oh! Ah, you balance! Oh, fuck! Oh, me nose! Ah, balance! Oh, fucking loving beating up. Oh, this is a bit like Raging Bull! Raging fucking bullshit, more like. Jesus Christ, look at the state of this tank. It's a fucking disgrace. There's all bits in it. How will you look? I've gone all black and white. Oh, this is a great film. I love being Irish. Actually, the main reason I cast Brad was so I could meet Jennifer, and her hair really is amazing in real life. Guy Rich Toy, thank you very much for joining me today. That's all right, mate. If you ever need someone doing, get on a dog. And cut. Is that okay? Did I sound streetwise? Um, uh, sort of blinding.